Can I get a large three sugar, one cream with four ice? Three sugar, one cream, and how many ice? Four? Four or five? What's up everybody? Thank you for tuning in today on Monday where you're going to start your week off fresh and you're going to dominate every single day this week. Today what I want to be talking to you guys about is removing the fear of failure, the what ifs. A good reason you should remove the fear, fear of failure and to remove the what ifs is because you never know what the outcome is going to be if you were to actually pursue it. For example, if you feel like you want to address something but you're afraid to because you don't know the answer, assume the answer will always be no up until you ask the question. Once you ask the question, you might find yourself finding a completely different answer that you never even could have perceived. And believe me, I can tell you from personal experience, when you start removing the fear of failure and you start to live in a lifestyle of what if, you're gonna start pushing the boundaries every single day further and further, getting more out of your comfort zone and finding that, that uncomfort that you're experiencing when you're pursuing new things and trying to find new endeavors in life are scary, but that's how you're going to grow as a person, breaking past that comfort zone. Because if it's uncomfortable, it's probably gonna help you in the long run. It's going to benefit you in the future. That's something you should really, really try to focus on is what is going to benefit me in the future if I am. If I take the action today and it makes me feel uncomfortable, how is that going to benefit me in the future? How is that going to take me one step closer to my goal? Does it make me uncomfortable knowing that that step I need to take can potentially bring me closer to that goal? Or are you completely comfortable with it? If you're comfortable with it, then it's probably not gonna benefit you in the long run. If you find yourself feeling uncomfortable about doing something, it's most likely gonna benefit you. Now, I just wanna also say, Please, within reason, if it makes you uncomfortable because it's a new experience, that's okay. Be logical about what you're doing here. Don't make any rash decisions, obviously. You want to still respect other people around you and, you know, try to be the nicest person you can possible. And what I want to use for an example is these guys, Exhibit Studio. only when it's going to benefit you. Someone once told me that your comfort zone is your income zone. So if you are comfortable with where you are on a financial state, that's completely okay. There's nothing wrong with being comfortable on a financial state with what you have. But if it makes you uncomfortable because you want to pursue something further in order to become a little bit more financially stable or financially free, maybe it gives you an extra couple hundred bucks a week to do something fun with that or invest into something. If it makes you uncomfortable and it's going to benefit you, absolutely. I would say 100% pursue it. The reason it makes you uncomfortable, it's because it's a new experience to you. You don't know how that experience is going to play out. It's the unfamiliar. You're not aware of the predictable future because you haven't yet experienced it. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. It's a little bit of a short episode. I actually lost all the footage previously, so I have to film this kind of spur of the moment. But thank you again for tuning into this episode. Once again, if you got anything from this content, there's a like button down below. Give us a thumbs up if you got anything from this content. Also, hit that subscribe button if you wanna stay updated with all the videos and make yourself live the best life you possibly can and dominate in every single day. We got new episodes coming out on Monday and we got new vlogs coming out every Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Marcus Perdek. Wow. Morning, how are you today? Uh, alive. alive, come on, head up. 20 cents to upgrade. Sorry? It's 20 cents to upgrade. For? The coffee. 
20 cents to upgrade for a coffee? Uh, okay. So like for an extra large or what? No, for a large it's 20 cents, for an extra large it's 40. I just want the large though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 20 cents to upgrade. Oh, okay. Just to let you know. This is only good for a medium. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. My, okay, now that makes sense. Yeah.